Okay, so now we're in ZBrush. A lot of stuff has happened, and we're actually at a fun part. But before we get into the fun part, we have to remember there's always things we need to make sure is working operably. Um, as you see here, I'm kind of dragging out more and more, but we have kind of a weird, a weird happening. You would think that when you bring something in, it pivots directly in the center. Well, it's pivoting down here, and that's because we made our our pivot point or our center point in uh, Maya right at the bottom of the feet. You can change that by moving or hitting the home or holding down your on the Mac it's a hold down on D and you can actually move the pivot point of your poly surface that we created at the end of the last video and bring it directly into the center of your character and that will fix this problem where it's not moving the way you want it to in the window. I know that it, when you're doing your your work when you're working through your workflow it can be kind of a nuisance so unless uh, you plan on working on individual pieces at a time then you may want to do that so first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit control and we're going to delete those off the screen we're going to come down here since my pivot point is kind of lower and make sure that our sub tool over here is, is selected because that's what we want to bring into the, the work window then we're going to bring one in we're going to hit T T is for the draw or edit, excuse me, and that allows you to basically work on this model. Now we can open up one of our most used drop down windows, and that's our sub tool editor. We can do all kinds of things. You can play around with a lot of this stuff. Never get overwhelmed with all these different buttons. Uh, you can watch tons of to tutorials on each one of them. And there, there is a lot of stuff, but don't get overwhelmed, as I said. And the reason why is because this is merely a tool to help create geometry, uh, high-res geometry for this game character asset. So now that we've brought him in here, we want to first make sure that uh, this particular guy is dropped down into a number of, and we're going to close this Z plugin really quick, polygroups. Because if you remember, we combined all these pieces. Now, we want to be able to work on each individual piece without a problem, and one way to do that, specifically with this simple character, is put in some auto groups. That way, each one of these, and I can show you the poly, over here, this little, this icon, the polyframe, uh, how these change colors and go into their own group so you can work on them individually. We'll hit this and now if you notice all of them have different colors. This allows you to work on each individual piece by itself. Now later on you're gonna have a lot more sub tools to work with. Like I said this is a much a very simple character to work on and uh, we, we don't really need much uh, in that area and this trust me trust me how important it is to make sure that you piece together or I'm sorry in Maya uh, combine certain elements of your your game asset together because it will help later on when you're doing your UV maps so the next thing we want to do is start modeling and simply put you can go over here to your geometry drop down and you could start dividing out individual pieces of geometry here and on the Mac you're going to select the geometry that you want to work on well actually it's going to divide all these pieces but you you, you can we'll, we'll hit the first divide and what that's doing is, is creating a subdivision it doubles up every time and you can just keep hitting it I usually go to about seven or eight to get you know the resolution that you really want we're going to go not too far. We don't really need to because this is a very quick uh, tutorial. So we have this here and can I kind of do some modeling on this? You just work with um, a lot of these little tools here to do some modeling. Uh, I can actually hit control shift select this portion of my character to, mo to work on and it won't do anything to any other pieces and if you notice there we go we already have some modeling going on and you can hit the right mouse button and change that and I'm gonna do some modeling I'll let you do some and we'll come back <laughs> 